Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z Knowledge TV. Okay. So, for the next lesson, it's about uh, mathematics for our world. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. So, mathematics for our world. So, we have seen in the preceding sections how evident mathematics is in the natural world. So, specifically, in how the patterns that we observe in nature follow logical and mathematical structures. So, it is therefore important that we learn mathematical concepts and apply them in solving societal problems. So, moreover, mathematics greatly helps the government agencies and private institutions in interpreting the data they have in order to make decisions. So, since the customers avail their program service in a trend over time, they try looking for patterns in order to look at the factors that affect the customer's consumption and satisfaction. So, for instance, the marketing department of a convenience store carries out steps to identify which of their products was sold the most and what factors affected its purchase. So from here, they can formulate strategies so that the customer's pattern in buying the said goods can be generalized to include their other products too. So dito sa mathematics for our world, so masabi natin na yung mathematics is gamit sa different work natin. Okay? So, pwede siyang sa ibang bagay. Meaning, yung mathematics is makikita natin o magagamit natin in different area ng ating buhay. So, another example can be ornithologists, which is yung scientist specialized in the study of birds. So, carefully plotting bird migration routes to help conserve the population of the endangered bird. Okay, so, napipredict nila kung gaan na ba umuunti o dumadami ba yung bilang ng mga birds sa mundo o sa isang area. Okay, so, by using patterns. Okay, or predictions. So, mathematics help predict the behavior or nature phenomena in the world. So, it is sometimes said that history repeats itself. So, as much as we can use mathematical models using existing data to generate analysis and interpretations, we can also use them to make predictions. So, dito pasok yung word na probability. So, yung isang branch ng mathematics. So, this branch of mathematics can be greatly associated in predicting future behavior. So, using it, so experts can calculate the chance of an event occurring. So, using this uh, branch of mathematics, scientists or different mga engineers, mga professionals, so, napipredict nila o nalalaman nila kung ano ba yung possible na mangyari in the future. O, maski sa, sa mga problem solving. So, base sa mga predictions nila, uh, using different data so na, na ko conclude nila na ito yung nangyari or ito yung possible na mangyari okay so meteorologists uses past data to make forecast about the weather for the entire week to warn the people if any type of is coming so, so, astronomers also use patterns to predict when meteor showers or eclipses will take place. So, in 2017, they announced when and where the uh, draconid meteor shower and the Great American Eclipse would take place. Okay, so lastly, 
seismologists, with the help of their instruments, observe volcanic activities to identify the occurrence of a volcanic eruption. They compared the readings in their seismographs, the frequency and magnitude of the earthquakes that occurred, and other factors to the patterns of previous volcanic activities in order to identify if a volcano is about to erupt or not. And their announcements guide the public to make necessary evacuation plans to keep them safe. So, papansin natin na different scientists, or meteorologists, astronomers, seismologists, they use different uh, instruments. Okay? And that instrument uh, helps them na madetect o mapredict yung possible na mangyari. Okay? So, next. Mathematics helps control nature and occurrences in the world for our own ends. So, it is interesting then to ponder on how mathematics an invention of the human mind seems to permeate the natural laws that hold the universe together. There has been instance when a natural phenomenon has been speculated to exist because mathematics says so but no hard evidence has been found to support its existence. So such phenomenon was proven to exist only when advancement in technology have allowed us to expand our horizons. So, through the use of mathematics, man is also able to exert control over himself and the effect of nature. The threat of climate change and global warming has been subject of much debate over the years. It is believed that unless man changes his behavior, patterns are said to indicate that sea levels could rise to catastrophic levels as the polar caps melt due to increase in global temperatures. Okay? So, with the help of mathematics, uh, kayang protektahan o kayang pigilan din ng tao kung ano possible na mangyari sa nature o sa world. Okay? Gaya nga ng uh, pwedeng malaman natin kung ano yung possible na mangyari sa uh, weather. Kung uulan ba or hindi. Kung magiging endangered ba yung mga uh, birds, animals sa uh, uh, environment. So, kapag nalaman nila na possible na umunti na yung mga animals natin, so, pwede sila makaisip ng ibang solusyon so, para muling mapadami yung bilang ng mga animals. Okay? Maging sa global warming, since na nalalaman nila na sumusobra na yung init and that uh, yung init is based on temperature. So, yung temperature is nakaayon sa mathematics. So, many quantities are modeled using mathematics. So, geometry, for a fact, is one of the branches of mathematics whose application to real-life situations is very obvious. So, geometry helps people in deciding on what materials should be used in their buildings and in planning ventilation inside the house. So, it is also inseparable to different art pieces. So finally, many measuring tools including protractor, ruler, measuring tape, and weighing scales are used in everyday lives. So sa geometry, ang pinakamatibay na uh, shape daw is the triangle. Okay? Kaya naman, kaya sabi na kaya naman, yung, yung shape ng triangle ay siyang ginigamit ng mga constructor or developer para maging matibay yung binibuild nilang mga uh, housing or maging mga kasali. Okay. So, as being repeatedly mentioned, nature has recurring patterns that can be represented using mathematics. So, moreover, future occurrences can be predicted using the trend which is generalized by mathematics too. Thus, this predictive nature of mathematics is very useful. So, take for an example the way forecasters predict the occurrences of high and low tides. So, through mathematics, it was proven that the height of the tides is a function of the distances of the moon, the sun, and the earth from each other and other factors including winds and air pressure. And this information is very useful for fishermen and seafarers. So, kaya naman, 
yung mathematics is very helpful magdating sa society. Malaki yung tulong nito kung paano natin mamabago yung mundo. Okay? So, the discussions in the previous sections stress the importance of mathematics in everyday life. So, even in the very nature, mathematics can be seen in flora and fauna. So, moreover, at the most basic level, careful observation, logical reasoning, and critical thinking are inherent skills in mathematics and are helpful in solving different problems in the world. So, whether you intend to be a teacher, a businesswoman, a manager, a doctor, an engineer, or a chef, knowledge in mathematics will surely help you. Thus, the fact that it has many applications makes mathematics indispensable in the world. As such, the study of mathematics should be embraced as it paves the way for more educated decisions and in a way brings us closer to understand the natural world. So meaning, mathematics is everywhere. Dahil yung mathematics is malaking bagay o malaki yung nagbibigyan itong effect sa ating lipunan, maging sa environment. Okay? So, that's all. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.